the Ontario Federation of Anglers and Hunters proudly presents Angler and Hunter Television. Brought to you by Canadian Tire, Burris Optics, Mercury Marine and Lund Boats, Yamaha ATVs, Browning Ammunition, Browning Firearms, Suffix Fishing Line, Rapala, Camillus Knives and Cuda Tools, and Yukon Gear. Well, let's go see what happens. There should be squirrels that... Uh... Each year, Ontario has tens of thousands of new hunters graduate from the Ontario Hunters Education Program. And the trend is that more and more young people are participating. Legally, youth between 12 and 14 have to hunt with a mentor, meaning that they have to be within arm's reach and only use one firearm between them and the mentor. Nice job. Now Ontario offers some great hunting opportunities. Oh, look at that. Wow. From woodcock and wild turkeys to bear, moose, and white-tailed deer. Squirrel. <laughs> but finding a place to hunt can be a challenge, especially if you're under 16 and don't drive. Now this show is going to be all about experiencing a bear hunt with an Ontario outfit. But with a bit of a twist. Joining me for this trip is OFAH Executive Director, Angela Lombardo. You know, when I was, uh, when I was a youngster growing up, uh, the outdoors hunting, fishing was, was just part of my life. It's just what I wanted to do. We didn't have uh, a lot of the, the modern technology that we have today. Um, you know, being outside all day was just something that we did. Unfortunately, uh, as uh, time goes on and modern technology starts to uh, take over our everyday lives, we got, we got kids that are disconnected from nature. We got kids that are disconnected from nature, and I think uh, the the hunter uh, apprenticeship uh, program, the Ontario Hunter Education Program, gives the opportunity to get kids into the outdoors, and I think that's uh, so important. It really is important, and um, we do need mentors. We need lots of mentors, whether it's your own uh, uh, child, uh, whether it's a niece, nephew, uh, a relative. That's wonderful too. But if you have some time, and uh, you know a youngster that wants to get involved in hunting, it's extremely rewarding if um, you know you can encourage them to do so, and then get out on a mentor hunt with them. Now for me, I won't be hunting. Rather, I will have a newly licensed apprentice with me in a stand hoping to arrow his first spring black bear. Mike Miller emailed my dad on my birthday. Pretty insane, but uh, it's for a bear hunt in the spring and my dad told me um, when I got back from school, one of my birthday presents was I'm going to go hunting with Mike Miller on TV. Evan comes from an outdoor family. Fishing, hunting, and exploring the woods is in their blood. <laughs> That'll maybe fit you next year. Hope your brothers don't steal all this off you. Yeah. This is mine. They're already eyeing it. I like Mike's show because he's a really nice guy. He's very patient. He likes fishing, he likes hunting. He's just like me, uh, just a little bit older. And I want to hunt with him because it'd be pretty cool for my first bear hunt to go out on a TV show and hopefully shoot bear. Now Evan is pretty keen on getting his first bear and has spent countless hours perfecting his bow skills. My brothers, my best friend Trevor and I, we've been practicing a lot with our bows and uh, for this hunt, the target's pretty well ripped up. My draw weight is 55 pounds. Um, I've been cranking it up a lot ever since I was told about this hunt so that I could get it up high enough for bear, because bear, you need 49 point, no, 48.5 pounds to legally shoot a bear with a compound bow, so I've been cranking it up to get to that weight for this hunt. It's once in a lifetime type thing. This portion of Angler and Hunter Television brought to you by Yamaha ATVs. All of the Lake offers housekeeping cottages that cater to families that enjoy angling and hunting. They offer boats, motors, a beach, paddle boards, and everything you need for a northern cottage getaway. Uh, my family bought this camp five years ago. Uh, we've been renting it ever since. 
At the beach, there's lots of toys for kids. You can go swimming. There's a swim raft over there with a slide on it. Uh, you can swim. We have lots of floaties, lots of sand toys, uh, buckets, all that stuff. So you can make sand castles and have fun on the beach. The fishing on our lake is really good. You gotta find the spots. You gotta be out a lot and looking for the spots, looking for the fish. Fish finders help a lot, but um, lots of bass in our lake, uh, lots of walleye. The size limits to our lake is 16 inches. You can't keep anything over that because it could kill the population and you want, because any fish over 16 or even under 16 would reproduce and stuff, so we want our lake to be able to have natural spawned animals or fish and stuff. There's, we have six boats that, we, that you guys can rent or you can bring your own and you can bear hunt. My dad does all the guiding. So. Evan's dad, Dave Smetana, is the owner and head guide at all of the lake. He sets multiple baits over a number of sites to attract as many quality bear as possible for his clients. We went to check a bait this morning and we found this on the on a dirt road on the way in. We could see a bunch of tracks on the road and came around the corner and found this poor old calf leg. So one of the reasons why we're doing what we do, help the moose out a little bit by taking a bear or two and hopefully that this doesn't happen as often. Apprentice hunters have a lot to gain by learning everything they can from their mentor about the animals they'll be hunting. When a 12-year-old uh, is successful and passes the, uh, the hunter education uh, course, um, he is now uh, considered an apprentice and he has to hunt with a mentor, uh, one that, uh, an individual that is uh, fully accredited and has, uh, has uh, also passed the, uh, the, the course. Um, now the, the rules around that uh, program are that they share a firearm, it's one firearm. So you have your mentor and your apprentice sharing a firearm. And um, the, the mentor has to be within arm's length of the, uh, the apprentice to ensure that um, you know, all safety is adhered to. And, and really what it is, it's, it's, it's fostering that outdoor experience where it gives that youngster the opportunity to whether it's turkey hunting, in a duck blind, sitting in a tree stand, to uh, enjoy um, you know, the, the great opportunities that Ontario has to offer as far as hunting goes, but uh, do it uh, with someone that has experience. And that's the important thing. We want to make sure that throughout this entire process that safety is first and foremost. Okay, so we're in the tree. It's a little warm, yeah. especially for a fat guy that sweats a lot. I was talking about me, not you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we got some tight quarters, but we're strapped in. Evan is uh, the first ever Angler and Hunter TV apprentice. And uh, I'm obviously the cameraman. Don't let me forget to hit record, okay? Oh. So, Evan's dad, Dave, uh, came in and reloaded the bait and set everything up. We're here, he's shooting a bow, and uh, it's his opportunity to take your first bear, right? Yeah, my first bear. And uh, it's going to be my opportunity not to wreck everything by not hitting record. So I got a couple cameras going here and um, hopefully a bear comes in fairly early and we can get some good footage. Yeah. How much have you been practicing with that bow? A lot. <laughs> like I've been practicing as soon as I was told, as soon as snow was out, I was practicing. And you got your license this fall? Yeah. Like this year? Yeah, this spring, May 5th. Gotcha. So, like May 5th. I got a a young fellow who just turned 12, he messaged me on Instagram and said uh, he got his license on May 29th, and then he sent me a picture on May 30th of him and a turkey, the day after he got his license. So it's good to see them. lots of young people getting into hunting. Yeah. Have you always liked hunting? Yeah, ever since I was born. Wow. You watch a lot of it on TV. Yeah, a lot of it. That's good. It's my favorite show is hunting and all that stuff. Outdoors. It's a lot better than being in front of a screen all day. Or like playing video games. Then instead you could be outside and having fun. Well, it's great. My daughter, she's 11. And she loves bear hunting. <laughs> 
This portion of Angler and Hunter Television brought to you by Minn Kota and Humminbird. See any bears? The weather was certainly not on our side and things were pretty slow. We tried to stick it out in a pop-up line, but after a couple days of hard rain, we were pretty much out of time. However, Evan was convinced he would get a crack at a bear. So on our last morning, we decided to get up in the dark and sneak into a new stand. As we were setting up, I, I went to walk to the bait to switch out the cart on the uh, trail camera and I heard a bear right behind the bait. So I quietly snuck back to the tree. Luckily there was some wind, so it was covering our, our noise. I looked up to the tree stand and I told Evan and Mike, I said, there's a bear right there at the bait. So they were still getting cameras ready. Evan was putting his safety harness on. I can see his face. The plan paid off. As daylight broke, we had a bear. It's priceless. He's worked so hard for this. He, uh, he's baited with me every day. He's been practicing with his bow, flinging arrows for months now, and he finally got a chance. He's going towards us. He keeps looking up. I want him to go back to the barrel. What's in that blue barrel? Cookies. Easy, whatever it is. It's cookies. Smart bear. He went and wide and knocked the barrel with the blue. He's eating the cookies. I can see his head. He's eating what was ever in the blue.
Hunting Edge is brought to you by Browning Ammunition. To get the edge, we utilized Yukon Gear's waterproof and scent-free camo to stay warm and dry. A thermocell kept away the mosquitoes and blackflies so we could scan the woods with a pair of Burris binoculars. And of course, we got in and out of the woods on our Yamaha 450 Kodiak ATVs. Sitting in a tree stand for hours and sometimes days He's still standing. can be fruitless. But one experience like this with an apprentice hunter and a black bear at 25 yards make it all worthwhile. Sometimes the bears don't cooperate, and this guy managed to escape unscathed. This was such a great experience, and being able to take in the perspective of a 12-year-old was a real eye-opener. Although Evan was pretty disappointed he didn't get a bear with me, his persistence paid off. And on the opening day of the fall season, he connected. Arrowing a great bear and punching what I'm sure will be his first of many tags. That's awesome. That's a nice bear too. Congrats, Evan. I certainly look forward to one day hunting with you again. Closed captioning of Angler and Hunter Television is brought to you in part by Ontario Out of Doors Magazine. Angler and Hunter Television has been brought to you by Canadian Tire, Mercury Marine, and Lund Boats, Yamaha ATVs. Browning Ammunition, Browning Firearms, Suffolk's Fishing Line, Rapala, Camillus Knives and Cuda Tools, and Yukon Gear. For more information on the products used in this episode of Angler and Hunter Television, visit AHTV.com. Be sure to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Remember, conserve and protect our great outdoors.